because it just makes more sense, especially with the little kids. What do you think about him still nursing? I expect to. He loves. He loves basketball. He loves it. It doesn't look like he wants to come off anytime soon. Christmas. It's not Christmas yet, but oh nice. Mm. Hey fam, Sarah here and Zavi because all the other kids are off at school, dad's at work, and little one, actually Zoe, is still sleeping because she had a rough night. She's been having a cough attack lately. When I say we've all been sick so many times, it's just been so annoying. It hasn't been once we had COVID and then we all got sick numerous times following that. It's just, I don't know what it is. In case it's not um, winter where you guys are, this is our snow. And like I showed before, we put up our tarp to um, take care of our furniture, our outdoor stuff. So Mink just called me. She's telling me that I guess her workplace, they're cutting back on hours for the holidays because of extended work hours or something like that. I'm trying to put the pieces together, but she's gonna be off a little bit earlier, so I will have to get her early. Sir, where are you going, sir? Sir, where are you going, sir? My tree is so beautiful. Oh, I love it. So like I said, I would show you guys progress. We are now all the way over here and making our way straight down in that direction. But this is a, how much of my kitchen is left, guys. Like the light is at the end of the tunnel. I can't believe we're actually almost there. Oh, I, I don't think I showed you guys. I did a hot cocoa bar this year. So this is the little hot cocoa station. Guys, it's my first time making a hot cocoa station. So it is not perfect. I got this at the dollar store I was sharing in that video. And then we actually got all of this at the dollar store to be fair. The large jars are $4. These ones are two. And these ones I think are $1.50. I was looking for a shelf to raise this so it was higher, but I couldn't find any. So you know what I used. <laughs> Shall I try to decorate it? But I just used some hardwood that's not being used that was gonna get thrown out. So I repurposed some hardwood. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's been super neat. The kids have definitely loved it and have been making good use of it. Oh, and in case you missed the video, I also bought this little um, mug rack. It's missing, I think, two of our mugs right now, but that's also come in real handy too. So I went to Winners recently and I grabbed a couple things. Look at that, it's a cute, they're like cute little black kids, mixed kids, whatever you wanna call them, I think they're black kids, but they look, I mean, black kids are mixed kids, I, I don't know, anyways. It's just so adorable, it's Christmassy and it's also a different, it's like a throwback Christmas color, I think, because it is, um what do you call it, it's mint, and I just don't see this color used to represent Christmas very often, unless I'm just shopping in all the wrong places. For some reason this year I have seen so many more things that have like, you know, people of color on it. I've never, like, it's usually not a thing. Like, you don't generally see that, but all of a sudden this year, and it's by a black artist too, so this is also cool because I feel like I'm getting, it's called Black Paper Party. Um, they have a bunch of stuff. Is that my, is my mug? My mug is from a black, a black um, creator too. Stormy Nesbitt. So I got to double check on that. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure. Pan for baking. This baking pan, you can make a variety of things in here, I think. But I kind of bought it for apple cobbler because... Over the holidays, you know, we want to do a lot of that kind of stuff together as a family, baking and that kind of thing. So this, we don't have a pan like this and we also need some fancier pans. <laughs> Even, I used to think, I'm not going to get anything like that because I don't really host, but I'm thinking, why should it be about hosting? Like, I want our family, we want to enjoy each other. We want to enjoy fine things. Why should fine things only be limited to when people come to our houses? 
I'm like, man, we as people, sometimes we treat ourselves like we're nobodies, you know? Good, fancy things aren't just meant for, to serve other people. They're for us too. So just to show you that I'm not just doing the talk, we have our family room, our main family room, and then we had our sitting room. And the sitting room is usually like deemed to the fancier room. You know, growing up, it was that room where kids couldn't just go and sit. It was a room for like adults. It was a room where things were just decorated fancy and you weren't supposed to go over there as a kid or touch it. But I've opened that up a long time ago. I was like, I'm not having a room in my house just sitting there collecting dust that my kids can't use. Like, so over there is more like a, it's just like a chill room. The piano is over there. The kids go over there and play and they, um, and at, like literally anything can happen over there. Sometimes we all just chill over there and read and while the little ones play. And sometimes we just eat and surround ourselves with food while the little ones play. Like we just enjoy the room and enjoy every aspect of our house. And even though over there is still going to be decorated as like a different version, it's not going to be like the cozy, comfy you know, lounging room, <laughs> it will still be used by us because we're important and we deserve the finer things just like we think our guests do. Hey fam, Sarah hey here. Hey guys. Hey. It's a long time since everyone's seen you. <laughs> I'm not. It has, it, felt, it feels like a Stop, stop draping me up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's been a minute since anyone's really seen Aaron because he's been... What are you doing? <laughs> he's doing the... He does the most. This is what he does. You need to get off. He's like, I want, I want your whole boob. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What are you doing? Look at this. Look it's, at like, this. it's like a balloon, mom. Zoe, stop whining. What do you think about him still nursing? I expect to. He loves. He loves breast milk. He loves it. Doesn't look like he wants to come off anytime soon. No. <laughs> but mm -hmm. we don't have to stop. I'm kind of. I told everyone. I think I'm, I'm currently trying to nurse just during at like nighttime but this boy keeps especially now that he's sick he's taking full advantage full mm -hmm. advantage and then I, I feel bad i can't say no just because wait 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 he's is he milking it <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's totally milking it and he's falling asleep and i know but the thing is i know this method puts him to sleep real fast so i also sometimes i'm just like Ugh. yeah I just can't. Um, Especially when I mean, he's coughing and you know, he feels the way he does. Mm -hmm. you so wanna give, You want to give him everything he can. Mm -hmm. right? But you know too, like with Zoe last time, I'm, you know I would never, probably, most likely not be able to conceive while I'm nursing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah, you have to kick Zoe off. Right? Hi, say hi. Oh, what is that on your hand, girl? Show them your sweater. You've got a Tom and Jerry sweater. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't mind our rug, guys. It's covered in, like, sawdust because <laughs> Babes is cutting um, flooring and stuff, and it's, it's literally trafficking, like, dust and stuff everywhere, so we can't wait for this project to be over. <laughs> I've been, it's been minimal, though. Yeah, for sure. It's not. It's, yeah, but I'm just saying in general, it's still there. In general, yeah. Yeah, and and it's on a day. Bless you. Everyone's kind of sick right now, except you. And I don't understand why it's only you that's not really sick. Maybe it's just I'm so active. <laughs> what does that even mean? I'm active. No, but like, like I don't know. I'm just constantly moving. Moving. But I'm constantly moving. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm in close contact with the kids though, and they share my drinks all the time. That was the one mm. thing. When they were sick, I was like, no guys, like, I, I had two things floating around. I have my tumbler, and then there's this big water bottle, and I'm like, I don't, I'm like, you guys drink from the bottle. Do you think they listen? Especially, no, actually, none of them. I was gonna say Zoe. Zoe should understand, but she chose not to. Mm -hmm. And yeah, here I am, sick too. So, anyways, um, we're just gonna run on the street real quick because of what we said and then we'll touch base while we're out there but i just thought to say hi real quick with aaron in the chaos, in the chaos. <laughs> so we're gonna be getting our kitchen back yes and our living room back and your living room back oh wow and dining room back 
How do you feel at, at having done this project? I understand why those like you paid four million dollars so much. Yeah. When you're done, and you're you gonna need a team of feel like you need a team. Of you did this yourself. <laughs> I know, but it's like. It's one of those things, mm -hmm. I thought about it, like, if you paid for it, you would go back and think, I could have done it myself. Yeah. I, and then yeah. at the at the end of this, you would like, think I would pay for it. I would it. pay for it, for so sure. So you, you don't, I don't think you win. Either way. <laughs> but after doing it once, then you at least know, so the next time you'll probably at least, you know, have an idea. And it's not going to be a matter of whether or not you can do it. It's going to be more of a matter of do you want to sacrifice the time to do yeah, it. Yeah, the time to do it. Hey guys, so this is where we are at. What do you want to tell them? We're so close. <laughs> Almost done. Almost done. Not He's finished. at the end right here too. He's literally trying to finish this one row right now. All the way down. But there's this one row for, and from afar. It just doesn't even look like it would take one full row. But it, it pretty much will. Yeah, it's very close to taking well, the full row. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is seven and a quarter. And it's it's too small. See what do you mean? Like I really So show them show them what you're doing right now. Show them behind that wait for a second. So guys, this is like another part of what takes makes this process so long, him having to cut around stuff like that, like having to cut this hole. Right? Yeah, for the You're going to have to yeah. cut a whole vent hole in that piece of wood. Yes. Right? How tricky is that? It's a little tricky. Yeah, with the jigsaw. It takes, you know... Practice. A little bit of practice, yeah. Especially if this is not your trade. Yeah, especially. <laughs> yeah, especially. <laughs> so how did you figure it out? Did you did you have a lot of rough patches to figure it out? Or is it... Or do you just... Like, no. what's your process? Just measure a lot. <laughs> you just measure, measure a lot? Measure a lot. Make and sure you probably you... start off small and just cut a little yeah, at a yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You measure cautiously, right? And then that's, no. But that's the bad thing is that you have to do money cuts sometimes. Because some people would probably be just go and just measure it and cut as big as, you know, the biggest size possible. And then you encounter the problem after yeah, when you realize people, you, you overcut. Yeah, some people overcut pretty well. I mean, yeah. Yeah, guys. Is, is not cutting enough. <laughs> so we've also been through the process of returning some of the wood. Um, we had that time frame, so we returned some for sure mm -hmm. because you can get your money back. And we we want to do our bathroom floors. We chose before our bathroom floor had actual hardwood from the pre-existing wood, but we're choosing to put tile because it just makes more sense, especially with the little kids. Yeah. That area gets wet. It gets yeah. water on it all the time. Mm -hmm. It's not a big area, so it shouldn't be too much. But that money that we got back, we can actually put towards that. That's right. So that's exciting. That's right. Yeah. Yay! That Zavi, no more coming over here. He, This is Zavi's favorite area. Like, he just sees dad over here. Everything that Aaron is doing, he copies. And he just feels, you can just tell, he feels so big and manly, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, He's such a big boy. Whenever he runs away and comes over here, you just see the walk. He walks like this. I know, he walks like such a... <laughs> he walks like... Man. Yeah, he's like, I'm the man. I'm like, uh, get your butt out of there now. <laughs> he's, he, he's more manly than his dad. <laughs> you should see, you guys should see his walk. I want to film and him. I want to... he stands. Yeah. And, and he relaxes. <laughs> I just want to get him on camera when he does that. It's just so funny. You love me, daddy? Mm. Is daddy doing a good job? He's sick today, guys. Yeah. He's not feeling well at all. My papa. I wiped off, <laughs> keep wiping off Booker's off his face, my poor baby. Oh. Santa. Bye. Hey guys, so just a little update. We just dropped the girls off and. Now we're going to Nestle's <laughs> toys to buy some. They toys. are, um, they're gone shopping at the mall and then Babes and I are taking the little ones into the toy store because. I don't think I, we told you, but Zoe's birthday is coming up in the next few days. We have mostly everything that we want for her, but I'm still kind of looking for little stocking stuff for things as well. Oh, I'm trying to grab my stuff. So anyways, we're going to run in real quick. Mm -hmm. Wish us luck. <laughs> 